What's up Aquarius? This is going to be your love forecast for the first two weeks of January. Happy New Year. I'm filming this right before New Year's Eve. Um, and so I hope you've all enjoyed your silly season and shout out to my girl Tara for my drunken skillet tea. I thought that that would be a cute funny to wear for this round. Um, this is going to be for my Aquarius Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and for the cross watchers. If you guys enjoy this video, please don't forget to give me a like, throw me a comment, share. It really helps out my channel. And if you're new here, I put these out every two weeks. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell if you want to keep up with me as I do. I also do offer personal readings. All the info for that's in the description box of the video. There does tend to be a bit of a wait for a reading with me. So if you ever wanted to explore your options, I put a link to Mystic Sense in the description box as well, which is a great company that will offer you access to so many amazing psychics and readers located all over the world. And if you go through the link I've provided, they're going to give you your first five minute reading free. So check them out if you feel called to do so. And otherwise, if you want to follow me on um, TikTok or Instagram, I've put the links to those in the description box as well. So guys, I'm going to do a how do they feel about you? How do you feel about them? The person on your mind and the projected outcome for the first two weeks of January. Bearing in mind that outcomes can and do shift um, and energy does shift depending on our actions inactions, reactions, our self-concept, our assumptions, all of that. Um, so if anything unfavorable is happening or continues to happen, you can absolutely shift the situation, have it conform. If you don't believe me, go and look please into the law of assumption, which I encourage you to do anyway, because this is just one timeline, one reading of the energy on one timeline and the situation that you've manifested, um, right? So just check it out. Um, yeah, I recommend it. Okay, guys, so the person on Aquarius's mind, how are they feeling about Aquarius as we move into the first two weeks of January? I mean, I've got five of wands on the bottom of the deck, so either there's been tension or they feel like there's a sense of competition or something like that. Let's have a look. Any love messages? Sorry. How does this person feel about Aquarius as we move through the first two weeks of January? Okay, five of pentacles, seven of wands. Okay, the star card in the reverse. That's your energy, Aquarius, the star card in the reverse. So they're feeling like this is a little bit lackluster or they're losing some hope. Ten of swords, temperance card in the reverse. There's been some impatience <laughs> or they're feeling impatient, something to do with timing or patience in this situation. There's definitely been, you know, there's something that's caused a wall between the two of you. Um, they're feeling quite guarded, Aquarius. They're also feeling temperance in the reverse means that there's been a lack of temperance when it comes to emotions. So something could have caused like an argument or a conflict or a pain, Ten of Swords, like you could have had an ending with this person um, that's painful or there's been like a reactivity between the two of you and then there's pain there. Now, Ten of Swords can also feel like betrayal and five of pentacles is feeling a disconnect or feeling left out in the cold. So let's see what's going on with that seven of wands. There's a six of cups in the reverse. There's a 10 of wands in the reverse. They want to like release the burden um, that's caused this wall between the two of you. I mean, six of cups in the reverse with this star card in the reverse, this person could be losing hope that there's, that they can reconcile with you, you know, so, I mean, maybe that's because you don't want to. I don't know. This person's on your mind. This isn't for everyone, guys. So, honestly, if this doesn't resonate for you, don't put shit in my comments like, I don't want him, that ex, whatever. Then, fuck, like, it's not your reading. But for some of you, this is the person on your mind and it's going to resonate. This person seems to be losing hope about the ability to reconcile some issue with you. Three of Swords. There's a lot of heartbreak here. Okay, so something's, something's hurting this person around the situation. This could be, for some of you, this is third party energy. For others of you, there's just been something um, that's happened between the two of you and it's caused pain and separation. They've got the Wheel of Fortune though and the Judgment card and the Eight of Wands. So whilst they're losing hope, they still want to talk, okay, Aquarius? And they, there is this sense of something feels kind of destined between the two of you and the Judgment card would be a comeback round, okay? Maybe they're waiting on you to do that. So maybe they're losing hope because they're hoping you're going to do that. Maybe you're feeling the same. We're going to do your cross energies. But the judgment card was also maybe accountability. So 
if someone's done the betraying, this is about being accountable or this is about maybe working through an issue and having a conversation, okay? Wheel of Fortune is wanting things to turn for the better. Let's have a look. Eight of Wands, Page of Swords in the reverse, Nine of Cups in the reverse. There is an observation energy. Um, I feel like there's been some petty conversation or petty words and then maybe you're right now at a stalemate because Page of Swords in the reverse could be no no communication at the moment. They want to communicate. There could be, like I said, maybe some watching or some observation. Maybe they feel like you watch them. Maybe they're watching you. We'll get the oracles to get the clarity on that. Maybe you're both watching each other like online or you're looking at old texts or something. Um, the nine of cups is in the reverse. So there's a sense of someone's been selfish. Or they feel also maybe that they've, you know, you had a lot of pleasure or joy with one another and it's kind of feeling like it's lost. Four of swords, it's at a rest state. And they're waiting. <laughs> Three of wands. <sighs> they're the ones waiting. Maybe they're waiting to have the conversation. I mean, queen of swords comes right after that. And that could be your energy, Aquarius. This is air sign energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Um, there's a sense of waiting or waiting for an honest conversation. And there's a coldness between the two of you. We've got Sagittarius energy as well there. Um, let's have a look what the Queen of Swords is all about. Emperor card. They're waiting. So they're either waiting for you to take control of matters, <laughs> Aquarius, or they're waiting for the right moment to come forward and have this conversation and actually you know, take control and and have a conversation where there's accountability, right? I mean, I, I have to do the cross energies for you guys, but they want to put effort in to the situation. This person also could feel either, you know, that you're both very heavily work uh, focused on work and career. This is about being a boss or building something. So maybe they're sort of burying themselves in work um, to sort of, distract themselves or something but page of cups it's like there's a wanting there's something about apologies or there's something about a love offer right like page of cups maybe they want to come in and make an offer but maybe they're waiting on you too so it could be a bit of that seven of wands this person's very guarded about this whole thing why is there five of pentacles what's happened why is there such a disconnect ten of pentacles there could be issues to do with family here um you know, defensiveness and everything as well can be family issues. You know, six of cups here in the reverse. So what I'm getting is there's a, with the seven of wands clarified by the six of cups in the reverse, something's happened between the two of you that's caused pain or betrayal or there's defensiveness, okay? Now, what I'm getting, um, and when I say betrayal, I don't know if there's third party betrayal or whether it's just the way that words were spoken or the energy felt like a betrayal, you know, like someone felt the other one was being selfish or not choosing them. And this is triggering, right? Um, the six of cups in the reverse, it's when we need to revisit the past to get over some kind of a block. There's a defensive energy here. So maybe this is what needs to be healed. Maybe this person needs to heal that. There's the temperance card in the reverse can be like losing our temper. And that could be connected to five of pentacles, 10 of pentacles. So this is like uh, abandonment issues or something like that. So that could be what's come up in your situation um, and maybe cause some harsh energy or an argument or just like an ending that's very painful between the two of you, someone here must have gotten defensive and like just cut it off. Maybe that was you Aquarius, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do your cards, but they wanna come back around. They wanna have a conversation. There's just this cold energy. So someone feels, you know, this person could feel like you're quite cold and that really sets them off. <laughs> do you know what I mean? There's old issues that need to be addressed here, six of cups between the two of you and po possibly in this person's past. Um, yeah, or maybe it's daddy issues, Emperor card, or maybe there's issues around children also in the mix here. Okay, guys, so uh, not for all of you, but there could be children in the mix. This is a husband and a father figure. Um, so anyway, there's genuine love and emotion, Knight of Cups. I mean, I think that they could be wanting to come in and, and be romantic or, you know, give you a love offer or they're waiting for you to do that. 
there's this feeling trapped, eight of swords, and also not being able to kind of move on, feeling like this isn't moving forward, but then not moving on. And this is going around in the mind. And it's also a lot of negative thinking um, that maybe got in the way of the connection, right? Eight of swords is our own limiting beliefs, maybe about love. Okay, so there seems to be like individual healing needed here and then healing between you and this person. Okay, Aquarius, um, yeah, let me have a look at you and then I'm going to see what's going to happen. So how do you feel about this person? Knight of Wands, <laughs> you're attracted to this person, I don't know, but maybe you feel like they're a bit hot and cold. Page of Swords, um, Observation, Energy again. How does Aquarius feel about this person as we move through the first half of January? I just saw a lot of cross cards, four of swords, eight of wands, but the eight of wands was in the reverse. So it's like there's maybe you're not talking to this person. How do you feel about this person? Chariot card in the reverse. You feel like it's not moving forward. It could be something here around relocation or travel or distance, cancer energy. Um, seven of Wands in the reverse. Seven of Wands is over here in the upright. Four of Swords, but in the reverse. And no one give me shit that they're all in the reverse. Everything is done intuitively and the cards come out exactly how they're meant to, okay? Because sometimes people, do, they get smart with me in the comments and I'm not really interested. If you don't like it, go and watch another channel. Devil card in the reverse. Seven of Swords is in the upright with the Temperance card in the upright and the Judgment cards in the reverse. Interesting. And the Page of Cups is in the reverse. So there are a lot of cross cards, but there's like kind of opposition, right? So this person has Judgment card in the upright. So they want a revival. They're hoping to give this a second chance. You've got judgment card in the reverse, which tells me that maybe you don't necessarily know if you can revive this or if you want to. It's also the shadow of the judgment card. There seems to be some projection going on of judgment. So again, there's a defensiveness between the two of you. Someone feels the other one is judging or um, coming across hot and cold and not being very decisive. So that could be the other thing because the emperor card likes to take, you know, the emperor takes charge of matters. So someone feels like the other one is not really taking charge, not showing up, not being decisive. Temperance. Maybe you feel like you need time or you want patience or you're trying to create some level of tempering in this situation. Like you're trying to do some healing. And I said that there's been something about this not feeling very tempered. This person has a temperance card in the reverse. Devil card in the reverse. So you're trying to Either you're trying to set yourself free from this altogether, Aquarius, or you're trying to release some kind of toxic um, patterns or triggering that this is bringing up in you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Seven of Swords, trust issues. So either you feel you can't trust this person or you have trust issues and that's caused a block or a wall between the two of you. The Seven of Wands in the reverse, how do you feel about them? Maybe you're feeling like they're not really persisting. Um, you also could feel like there's a need for like a dropping of the guard in order to even move forward. I mean, you just don't trust this for some reason. Page of Cups in the reverse, Seven of Swords. Maybe you feel like this person's a bit avoidant or you have trust issues from your past. So you, it's hard for you to let go of that. Now, again, Aquarius, if you want this to be different, again, this isn't for everyone. So if you don't like this person or if this doesn't resonate or if this is some toxic ex that's a narc or whatever you want to say, then why tell me in the comments? I'm not interested in him. So it's not your read. But this person, if it resonates, it's the person on your mind if the story is yours. If you want to change this so that there's a mirror thing going on, this person is reflecting back something that needs changing inside, then you can potentially take the, the connection in another direction. So again, have a look into the law. Um, there's a wall meets wall here. There's triggering, there's trust issues. Um, there's a need to temper things. Now you can temper things because your triggers, if they're coming up, are showing you a story or a narrative that you need to change. And then that story creates assumptions about a situation which creates reactivity or retraction or whatever. So anyway, the Four of Swords is in the reverse here, which tells me that there's sort of a wanting to maybe come out of a break 
Why do we have the devil card? I mean, there could be a lot of attraction between you and this person, but also the devil card to me is even more so you wanting to let go of all this pain and this regret or toxic stuff, right? The five of cups is loss and regrets. So you could be dealing a little bit um, Aquarius with trying to release your own spilt cups, your own stuff that is actually what you're really trying to heal, like old toxic patterns or toxic relationships. Maybe this isn't the toxic relationship. Like this could be a lot of reactivity, as I said, between the two of you where it could be family stuff. Um, Oh, because we've got the lover's card in the reverse. So for some of you, this could be, you know, codependent patterns and issues, lovers and devil card, um, you know, that cause you to kind of react to one another. Um, or, you know, all this behavior has caused like a feeling that things are imbalanced or one-sided. So what does Aquarius really want with this person? You're stressed about it. You have anxiety, but then there's a page of pentacles. You still see opportunity and you want them to come in and make an offer <laughs> and you're very weighed down. And some of you are also just very burying yourself in work and weighed down with work. And I did say, uh, I feel like maybe this person's doing the same. They're just focusing on their career, but you seem to see opportunity here, but then there's a Knight of Swords. There's been a lot of reactivity and there's been like maybe a harsh ending or harsh communication. So this could be about a gesture or an apology. Maybe you're waiting for them to do that maybe vice versa. It's causing you anxiety. Okay. And eight of pentacles means with you both having eight of pentacles that there might be opportunity to actually put work in and work through it. It's also about self mastery. So this is about you both maybe healing and dealing with your own stuff. Now, if you heal and change your story, then law of assumption and quantum mechanics tells us that we can shift into a new version of a connection and they will actually be that mirror to your healed version. So whilst I'm reading into their issue, it's not about like they need to heal. So again, look into the mechanics of all of that if you do want to shift this. We've got the lovers card. So we've got Gemini energy, we've got Capricorn energy. Um, yes, and then we've got nine of wands. So you want to release some kind of a wound here. There's a lot of wounding, there's a lot of blocks here, there's a lot of defensiveness. And then we've got Knight of Wands in the reverse. So this has been a bit hot and cold or stop start, but there's a lot of passion, it seems. You could have a wound around the past where there's been a lot of this kind of, there's a pattern of um, maybe a lot of having a lot of attraction with people, but it being very like stop start, not very enduring or something. So maybe that's... Um, coming from some kind of a limiting belief about yourself or about love or whatever. Okay, guys, it, this won't be for everyone. I mean, page of cups in the reverse, like the wounded inner child. You both could be like that. That's what I'm saying. So let's have a look. What does this person want and what are their intentions as we move through um, first two weeks of January? Ooh. Okay, there's trust issues. I saw flirting with others in secret. So either they think that that's you, Aquarius, or that's what's happened, or that's both of you, or it's just a fear. I don't know. Justice. Legal matters. So legal matters could be at play. It's court visit. Gosh. Okay, guys, I'm not encouraging anyone to go with like a dangerous person. Okay, I just want to make that very clear. Um, with this devil and the knight of swords and all that kind of stuff. Um, if that's the case, then questions need to be asked around, okay, how can I change my um, patterns in love, my own, you know, how much I love myself, my own beliefs and assumptions about myself so I can move forward and attract, you know, a better relationship, right? But otherwise, that's not really so much what I'm getting for most of you. I think this is about, you know, justice, Balancing things out, making things right. Um, divorce seems to be, you know, if this is a thing that is involving like exes and whatever, that could be a factor that's at play, that's causing trust issues. That flirting card, the mistress, the other woman, maybe for some of you that's um, something that's in the mix here. I don't know. I've got pursuit, chasing, resilience. I mean, this person, there seems to be persistence or wanting to come back in. But then there's deja vu, repeated patterns. So this is the going round and round. Um, extreme, harshness, erratic, 
decisions, cutting off, then I've got butterflies, happiness, devotion, gosh, Aquarius. And then I've got finality, divorce, not looking back, break up. Okay, so okay, some of you are dealing with a situation that involves, um, you know, someone that's wrapping up a divorce or you're doing that and there's just like this complex kind of energy, <laughs> like there's outside energies in the mix and this is an affair. I'm just saying for others of you, you're in a relationship, this is just going round and round and this involves, you know, harsh energy and this is an ending. Like I said, guys, if you want, you can turn things around. So it's up to you. Um, I don't know this is a weird read Aquarius okay needing time now is not the time something about temperance here okay you may be feeling like something like you need time this also says time brings unexpected changes with eight of pentacles eight of pentacles this could mean like putting in some kind of an effort for time to bring changes then I've got single detached a freedom to date and then I've got twin flames mirrored emotions your other half mirroring guys i mean i won't go into twin flames and all of that but like everyone's your mirror so you can um take this as an opportunity to look at what needs to be shifted and changed when it comes to your own narrative right and your own story and your own self-concept and then you can change the trajectory of this or you can take that lesson and move forward and move on onto something else but you're guaranteed to get something you know, to elevate, right? And to get more of what you really want. Sorry, Aquarius, for the weird read. Anyway, um, I hope that it did resonate for some of you. And um, I'm sending you guys lots of love and I'll check in with you in two weeks time.